Hey everyone, my name is Max and today we are going to create the best EA agent that will know your business. Can you just imagine that you can upload a ton of files, guides, information about your business, about your employees. You can upload as lot files as you want and your EA agent will be in context of all of them. We are going to use Superbase as our backend system that will allow us to do this search. It will be really interesting. It's kind of advanced level. Be with me, it's really important. This is a Max from the future. In the end of this video, you will have this model, this AI agent. Just look at this. Tell me about your prices. Okay, now we have prices. Our AI agent knows about it. Our AI agent knows everything about our business and this guy is ready to work for us. Look at this video and in the end of this video, you will get the same AI agent. Let's go step by step with me. So, first of all, this is just empty dashboard. Let's start. As a trigger, I'm going to use just chat. Let's add AI agent. Great. As a chat model, we are going to use OpenAI, GPT-4 Mini. You should have connection with AI as a memory. In most of cases, you are using simple memory, but not for this video. We are going to use Postgres chat memory. Right now, I don't have any connection and uh, I need to create new credential. That's great. That's great. In this moment, you should create Superbase account. Just go superbase.com, create your account, organization name, create the project. It's really simple. You don't need any technical stuff there. Just the name of your organization, the name of your project. That's it. After the steps, you can see this dashboard. And here I'm going to help you. Let's tap on connect. You know, we need to integrate Postgres chat memory. That's why we need to select here Postgres SQL. You will need this transaction pooler. You can see here we have a lot of different stuff. No worries, I'll describe it. Let's create new credential for Postgres chat memory. Here we need host. As a host, we are going to use this link, this host. Copy it, paste it here. After this, we need to fill database and user. Let's go here. We have port, database, user. Database is the same as we already have, but for user, we need to copy. And let's go here, user, paste. As a port, we need to use this one. Let's paste it here. Okay, and we just need to paste our password. It's not password from your Superbase account, but when you were creating your project, it was kind of password here. You put some password. So just copy that password and paste it here. Okay, done. So let's tap on save button and let's see. Okay, connection tested successfully. That's great. That's what we need. Let's go back and let's try. Let's check. Hey, bro. My name is Max. Okay, and... Uh, what is my name? Your name is Max. That's great. It saves our data. Let's check it here. Let's go. So here we have table editor. Tap on this and we have NDN chat histories. Open it and we can see session ID and messages and hey bro, my name is Max. Hey Max, blah, blah, blah. And that's really great. It saves our data. First step is done. It's a pretty complex one, maybe, but this is advanced level. Okay, now I need to connect our Superbase account. Superbase, vector store. Yep, that's what we need. Select credential, create new credential. Here we need our host and service role secret. It's not the same. So let's go here, project settings, data API. So here is API settings and you can see URL here. Just copy this URL, paste it here and you need service role secret. Let's go in settings and you can see service role. Okay, tap reveal and tap copy and just paste it here. It's pretty long. Okay, save. It's now saving, testing. Connection tested successfully. Right. That's really great. We added our Superbase account. Let's go back. Now it's red. No worries. We will fix it later. So if you want to find some information in your Superbase vector search, right? You need to understand that you need to upload some information, right? It's pretty logical. Let's do this. Tap here. Add another trigger. Trigger manually. This will be a trigger to save our data. I will use Google Drive. I need to download file from my Google Drive. If you need to connect your Google Drive or your Google services, please check this video. Check it right now if you need. My account is already here. I need file, download, and I need just select my file. For me, it will be salon info. 
This file is looking like this, just a lot of information about our salon. Let's test. Test workflow. Okay, it has been downloaded. You can see output data. This is our data of our file. Let's add Superbase. Superbase vector store. Add documents to vector store. So you, right now you need to add this file to our vector store, right? And if you are going to select some table, you don't have any tables. You have any and chat histories, but it's not what we need, right? Let's open docs, just tap here, scroll down a bit. And here you can see quick start for setting up your vector store. Let's open it. And you can see here it is SQL request. Let's just copy, open our super base and let's open SQL editor. Here you can paste this code. Do not need to change anything, just tap run. It's running, give it some seconds. Okay, you can see success, no rows return because we don't have any data, but it was created. Let's go in table editor and here we have documents. Inside it's empty, it's pretty obvious why it's empty, but now we need to add some documents here. You can go back to your NNN account and select. Let's just go back, open it one more time and select documents. That's what we need. But as you can see, we need to add some stuff here. Okay, embedding. As embedding, we, we are going to use OpenAI model text embedding free small. This model will help us to create this data for vector search. That's it. And the second one, let's use it, default data loader. We are not using JSON, right? We are using binary data. And here we need to add some more things, right? Let's tap on plus. And we need recursive character text splitter. Split text into chunks by characters recursively. Recommend for most use cases. Let's use it. Go back to canvas and let's start. Let's try. So when we click here, Google Drive will download our file in data. After this, Superbase Vector Store will create this data for our database. Okay, let's test this workflow let's start okay it's working it's working and succeed okay let's go in our database let's reload the page and you can see that we have information here that's really great so let's go back open your super base vector store select documents here so we need to take our information from documents let's name it as get sell on info use this tool when you need to get information about our salon. Okay, that's pretty it. Let's rename this. It's just a good practice to rename it. Okay, and uh, let's select embedding. We are going to use OpenAI. The same stuff as we already made. Now it's done. So let's test it. Open chat, refresh it. Hey, tell me about the price. It's going to our super base database. And now we have info about our prices. Tell me more about your social medias. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's going to give us information from our storage. Just understand it. You can load ton of information, even books, workshops, business information, everything about your process and this AI agent will find any information. You can download and use this exact template in my community. This is the best AI community for guys like you. Thank you so much. My name is Max. Subscribe, type on the like button. Have a nice day.